What's going on guys? Welcome back to another top 10 video. So today, we're going to be talking about the top t my top 10 favorite Superman costumes. This was of course requested by Wolf Cool. So let's go ahead and get into this, shall we? My number 10, Radiation Suit. This was in the animated series. I believe that there were variations of this suit in the comics. Uh, but I just like this suit because it's 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 just it's just a radiation suit, but it's just got a Superman logo on it. I just think that's cool, and I like how he uses that suit in the series to protect himself against the Kryptonite, because that was a big thing. He would wear the suit to protect himself from Kryptonite, and he's done that before. He's worn co he's worn costumes to protect himself or to buff himself, which we'll explain about other costumes later in this. Uh, this uh, video, but um, this suit was mainly used to protect himself against the radiation from the the kryptonite from the animated series. All right. So now moving on to my number nine, the space suit. So I always thought like, I'm, I'm sure a lot of fans have too, does Superman breathe in space? And the answer is probably no. So obviously he would make a space suit so that he could breathe because obviously he's still kind of a man, right? He, he's still a, still a person. He still needs to be able to breathe, right? So, I think I like the space suit thing. I've always thought when he is in space that he just, I don't know, he holds his breath or something. I don't know. Like, it's just, it's one of those things where you ask yourself the question of how does Superman even live? Like, how, how does he breathe? Does he just hold his breath? Does he hold, does he breathe in space? How does that work? I've always been under the assumption that he just holds his breath. So, I like the concept of the space suit. I like the design in general. I like how it's just a white suit, a white space suit, but with the Superman logo on it. It always looks good when he's got the Superman logo with like on a white costume. It looks really, really good. Uh, all right then, so moving on to my number eight, the 1940s suit. So this is a bit of a classic suit, but at the same time, it's not the classic like this logo. It's more of like a it's more of like a red and a black logo, like a shield, and that's pretty much the biggest difference with the suit is the uh, the color patterning and the uh, the shield logo a little bit. Uh, I really like this suit. I used to watch that TV show. It was an old TV show they used to have where they would uh, where they would have that specific uh, costume that he would wear. Uh, and that was it was an old old series. And that that was like I think each episode was like what like ten minutes long. It was pretty short, but um, you know there were just like little slices of episodes. You know little short ones like like with, like Cartoon Network does with their shows today. But I like the uh, I like the 1940s suit. It's it's one of my favorites just simply because of the logo. I like the red the red and the black shield logo. It looks really good. Okay, so moving on to my number seven is Smallville, but the black coat. So there was, so you guys remember Smallville, right? I love Smallville. I, it's one of my favorite TV shows. Um, I like the black coat. Uh, it's, 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 it's okay. It's cool. It, it is, it, it, it wasn't my first thought when I was like actually thinking about this video, uh, because you know, I don't know. It's it's cool. It's kind of like the recovery suit that he has in when he puts the black suit on, but it's it's more of like a uh, just something he wears. He Superman doesn't wear black. Like, like Superman doesn't just wear black. Like I think that's one of the things that you know is is different. Is that Superman like 
it's it's kind of like Spider Man, right? Like like he has a black suit, but he doesn't wear it all the time. <laughs> like like he doesn't wear it all the time. So seeing Superman in black is kind of like I don't know. For me, seeing like ah oh man, I can't even think of a good example. Seeing Batman in brightly colored colored bat suit that's that's what that's what that's as close to as a um as an example i can i can explain of how different that is right of how like completely separate of a costume that this one is but i do like the coat i do really do like the uh the design it looks pretty simplistic and it, it looks it looks decent it looks decent uh Okay, so moving on to my number six is Godfall. That this one now I never read the comic. I, I didn't actually read the Godfall comic, but I the first time I saw this costume was when I was playing Injustice, the first Injustice game, and he had the um, the little Superman logo on his like collar, and then he's like white and red, and I, ooh, just that, that costume looks so good. It looks so good. I just, the colors, the color pattern, and the, the armor, the armor that he wears on the suit, oh, that's what sells it for me, is the armor and the colors, and it just, it shines, you know, it sticks out. It's just, it's one of the, one of his, one of his, one of his best costumes, I would say. I would argue it's one of his best costumes. It really, really is, just simply because of the design. And yes, I do, do nobody try to go in the comments and say, Mike, do you at least know what the story is about? Yes, I know what the story is about. It's about when Superman, I believe he's in, no, he's not in Candor. He's in like, he's like, he's shrunken down into like the little city the, that he has and all these Kryptonians have like his powers or whatever. I don't know. It, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a story I don't really, I remember very vaguely. It's, it's, it's not one I have memory like in my heart with like Spider-Man or anything, but I do vaguely remember what it's about. Uh, but um, I, I like the costume. I really like the costume. Okay, so moving on to my number five is Regime, the, the evil Superman, right? Like the bad guy. Uh, I... I'm personally not a fan of Evil Superman. I prefer when he's just a good guy. Uh, but Evil Superman is interesting a little bit. It's 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 interesting to see what happens when a good guy becomes a bad guy. When a bad guy becomes a good guy, like th those are always an interesting concept because it's like it's nice to take a character that was establishedly this and then change them into this. That that's the whole idea with the regime Superman. But as far as the costume and the look design, uh, I like, I really, really like it. He's got the big S on his chest and he, then, it, then he's got the big armor that stretches up and it's like connected to his cape. Oh, it looks good. And then the textures on like the abs and the, the sides look really nice. Uh, and the, the color palette is really dark. It's darker. So that's another reason why I like it. It's like a dark red, dark blue color. So I really like that, that design of the suit. Um, really, really good. Number four, uh, Smallville, the red jacket, the red jacket. So this one is this one is better to me than the black coat because again it's it's colored it's red and blue obviously his colors and it it's it's simple right it's it's just a jacket with the s on it right and i like it i actually like it it's it's especially for the story that they were telling in the original smallville tv show you know have him becoming superman rather than him just you know, already Superman type of thing. So I like it. It's 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 the first time he's stepping into the shoes when he's putting on the jacket and the in these I think he's wearing like what, the blue jeans and then he's like got the uh the jacket with the S on it. It looks great. It looks really good. I really like it. I 
I want to buy one. That's how much I like the jacket. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I, I like that design. Now, number three is, it has to be the classic suit. It has to be the classic suit. Now, I know a lot of people would say maybe their number one is the classic suit. Me, no, I'm, this falls more into my third favorite type of suit. You know, yes, with the uh, with the undies on, on the suit, yes, I have had arguments on Twitter about people saying, oh, you a real Superman because you like the undies, or you're not because he doesn't have the undies. It was just, Stupid argument, but um, but yes, of course, the classic. I have to put the classic on here because it's the classic. You have to. It's the fucking law. <laughs> uh, okay, so moving. on to my number two the black suit or the recovery suit i love this suit and yes i'm also including the mullet okay maybe not the beard but the mullet okay the recovery suit now it, it, it this suit oh, i really like this suit just simply because now now i did say i'm not a big fan of superman wearing black right but this this is this is a lot like but this costume is a lot like when Spider-Man wears the black suit in his comics. Like, it's it's one of the suits that people recognize and love. And that's what it is with this one. Like, it's it's his recovery suits, the black suits, when he returns to life, right? He wore he wore this suit when he came back from the grave. Like that that's that's how much this suit is remembered. That's one of the one of the by <laughs> the best one of the best stories, the death of Superman leading up to the Superman Returns type type of uh, comic. It was it was just it was legendary. Okay, it was legendary along with the costume. So yes, uh, the recovery suit, my number two favorite. Love it. Number one is Man of Steel, and this is from a movie, so this is a, not cheating, but but it's, you know, it's, because you could argue it's kind of the classic suit, but it's not the classic suit. Let me explain. So the first thing about the Man of Steel suit that I like is no undies. I, 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 actually, I really don't care if he wears undies or not. But I do like how it, you know, he doesn't have undies. It's just straight up just connected to the suit. It's just a full-on bodysuit. I like that because the undies are meant to be a symbolic, uh, like, I guess, like, disconnect from the suit. Like, the undies are supposed to be there to disconnect from the legs to the to the pelvis to the chest. Like, like that's what it's for. Um but I like it when it's just a, no undies because it looks like a full body suit. It looks like it's just I like it. I like that a lot. I like the textures. I like how it sticks out more. Um, I like the color pattern, the palette a little bit more. It's a little bit more on the uh, maroon red uh, and a little bit of a darker shade of blue. Uh, I've always liked that kind of red and blue, so that's probably why I'm a little biased on that. But and just simply because I was one of those few people who liked Man of Steel. But I do know that a lot of people, including myself, was a little like, what the fuck, when, you know, Zod was like, <laughs> so, yeah, number one, Man of Steel, just simply because I love the suit. I think the suit, you will not deny how good the suit looks. I know a lot of people, there were some people who didn't like Man of Steel, but you will not deny that the suit looked great. So anyway, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'm out of here, up, up, and away. See you guys.